Hi everyone, welcome to Computing for Data Analysis. I'm Roger Pang and I'll be an instructor for this course. Uh, I just want to welcome everyone to the course and, uh, and talk a little bit about kind of what I'm expecting and what uh, you'll be running into for the next couple of weeks. So this course, of course, um, is about R. And um, we're going to talk a lot about R, about the, the kind of programming language aspects and how to do a little bit of statistics and data analysis with it. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about kind of uh, statistical languages and packages in general. Um, so in the world of data analysis and statistical analysis, um, there are a variety of different types of packages that you can use to analyze data and look at data. And uh, there are roughly three categories uh, that these fall into. The first is kind of the, um, the classical uh, command line interactive type of interface where you have a console type of window and you type a command and something happens and you hit enter and something happens and then you type another command you hit enter and then something else happens. Um, and so this type of, of interface is very common and it's very useful for doing data interactive data analysis for exploring your data uh, for kind of visualizing things and looking at summaries and whatever it is. Um, the, another type of package is the kind of a programming language. So you can think of traditional programming languages like C or C++ or Perl or Python. Um, and these are languages where by and large you write programs or scripts and then you execute the script uh, and then if, if you want to make a change you have to rewrite the program a little bit and then execute it again. Sometimes you have to compile the language. And so this is a little bit of a different model because you're not writing, you're not kind of working command by command. You're writing a whole series of commands or control structures to, uh, to, to do some sort of analysis. Um, and so it's a little bit different from doing something that's interactive because it's not as quick, it's not as kind of instantaneous. Um, and then the third rough category of data analysis type software is the kind of graphical user interface, uh, Microsoft Excel type of interface where you're kind of using the mouse or using the trackpad to click on things and, and there's no real um, language or programming per se. So, um, the, one of the things that makes R unique uh, in this universe is that try to really kind of, kind of give you a hybrid of the command line interface and the programming language interface. Um, and so some people f are a little bit disoriented by this setup because if they come from the programming language type of background, they're expecting a programming language that's kind of like those other languages. And if you're coming from a command line interface type of background, like you use SAS or Stata or something like that, then you're kind of expecting a command line interface. And, and for each of those types of areas, R has something along those lines, but it's not always perfect. So because it has to kind of make a compromise between the two. Um, so many people perceive this as having kind of the worst of both worlds, but I actually see this having the best of both worlds. So for people who are just starting out using R, you can do the command line, you can run, you can execute commands on the console and, uh, and things will happen. You'll make plots, you can make summaries. Uh, but then as your needs grow and as you kind of um, get more into the, the language, you might want to do something that the package doesn't offer, uh, in which case you can write a program or you can write a script using the, the programming language that comes with R. And so the, the R programming language is quite robust. It's a very big language. There are lots of things that you can do with it. And, um, and that's what makes it so useful and so, so attractive to a lot of people who want to do new things. Um, and so, um, but one of the things that makes it different as a programming language is that it has to accommodate uh, this need for doing kind of interactive work, interactive data analysis, command line driven types of things. And so there are a number of compromises that have to be made to the design of the language to uh, kind of accommodate that kind of um, uh, activity. So um, just so you get, I just want to make sure that people kind of understand what's happening here and if they're frustrated initially with the language, um, that one of the reasons is that it's designed to kind of accommodate multiple types of users and so it doesn't specialize with one type of person. Uh, and so there are going to be some compromises uh, with the language and with the way it works, but I think ultimately the whole package is quite um, useful uh, and very powerful. So I look forward to working with everyone in the class and uh, we'll see you soon.